Hi guys and welcome back to another Asphalt A video where I will be testing what it is, in my honest opinion, one of the most interesting cars so far in this update. And why, you may be asking. Well, the thing is that this uh, Ferrari Testarossa was just rebalanced after this update 58 and the new stats and the new multiplayer performance this, this car just got are just insane. As you will be seeing on the following races, I will be showing you only like three races because this car is seriously too slow for me. And I don't want to make like an extremely long video in order just to explain how good this car actually is nowadays. And well, as you could see on the very first race, this car acceleration is now extremely good. I would say is the very best uh, acceleration out of this rank. The nitro efficiency also was incredibly improved. Seriously, this car, all the nitro efficiency was uh, just, just too bad. And now seems to be fairly, fairly decent compared to all the other rivals this car has around this rank. Because let's remember that this car new rank is 1319. So it's paired with BMW E8, uh, Infinity Special Edition, and you know, other cars that were rebalanced in previous updates. Well, now focusing into this car handling, this car handling didn't change too much because it's just a really nice handling. The drift radius is okay, it's just that, in my honest opinion, this car loses too much speed in certain corners just while drifting but i think it's just because this car is overall quite slow compared to other cars in higher ranks and that's why i think this car loses a bit more of uh, speed but it's not a significant difference with all the other cars around this rank so i don't think it's a decisive factor to consider once you go for this car this car a major a advantage over other options is that you can actually upgrade this car just watching uh, 40 ads, 10 per each level of pro of pro upgrades. And that's quite nice because you don't actually need to waste like fusion coins, parts or something like that. You, you just can upgrade this car completely just watching ads. This, therefore, you can just upgrade this car completely for free. And also let's remember that this car is featured on the uh, hot winter season as the free car. So therefore, everyone should be able to get it. Therefore, Gameblock is giving you the chance to obtain this car completely for free, but also upgrading this completely for free at zero cost, which I think it's quite good because this is basically the new uh, top D-class uh, rank uh, because uh, the Ariel Atom was just rebalanced this previous update too, so there is not like anything higher than this rank right now. So in order to advance faster into the next league on Classic Season, this car will be extremely useful. Also, the Aston Martin DB9 was incredibly improved on this update, but I think that this uh, Ferrari Testarossa acceleration is way stronger in comparison, therefore it's uh, way more worth it to go for compared to any other car around this rank. Even though I think that all the D-Class cars can be upgraded with uh, ads, therefore you can upgrade basically all the cars on D-Class with ads. So far, maybe there are like seven or so that can be upgraded this way, including the KTM, uh, bike, which is the highest uh, vehicle right now on the class, but not by a long shot. So actually, this is a, a really good new news for the beginners since they don't actually have to spend uh, their resources upgrading the class cars as they can just uh, upgrade it with ads, which is such a nice change overall, considering that, well, once they jump into higher ranks, they will find how expensive uh, the higher cars are. So I think that's a really nice move by Gameloft uh, actually making so many D-Class cars at upgradable. It's a bit uh, complicated to say, but anyways. Uh, so overall, I would extremely recommend going for this car if you already have it on your garage, since it was a really cheap car back, back then, back when it far was first released. This car wasn't like really expensive to get, and now it's being given to everyone for free on the hot winter season on the free side. So if you ju just by playing, you can actually obtain this car completely for free. So I would like to know your thoughts regarding this car, as it is an extremely interesting competitor that was just released on this update 58, because right before this update, this car was incredibly useless. So anyways, I'm expecting to see your thoughts regarding this car on the comment section, if you are already upgrading this car, if you had it already upgraded, and if you have any other interesting options uh, on this update 58 that you would like to see me testing on multiplayer, because let's remember that there were like 97 cars fully changed, so there are a lot of options to test yet. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 8. Goodbye guys, and take care. See you soon.